in a quiet coastal town where things come and go. One thing has always stayed. The Pool Pirates. The Pirates have been at their Wimborne Road Stadium since they were founded in 1948. Despite their rich history, it's been the last 20 years which has produced the most treasure for the side. In that time, Paul have won an incredible eight First Division titles, including last year's Premiership crown. And a man who has been there since 1999 is team manager and former captain Neil Middleditch or as he's known by fans and riders, Midlow. Midlow, I've lived at Midlow's house for a couple of years now, so it's pretty, me and him have a pretty cool relationship. He's such a, such a good guy, away, even away from Speedway, and um, I think it makes, it makes it, when you have a manager that's, that's so laid back and like he's one of the boys, and when, it makes it fun to ride here, you know. Midlow's, um, you know, he's pretty famous in the Speedway world, and um, you know, he, a former rider and a hero down here. You know, his father raced here as well, so he's um, really popular, and. He's been the team manager here for as long as I can remember and um, really successful, won a lot of trophies and I think he just, you know, he loves pool and the, sp the sport down here and um, I can see him being the manager for a little while yet. Middle Ditch is a second generation pirate after his father Ken rode for pool in the mid 20th century. Born and raised in the local area, Middle Ditch has lived and breathed the pirates his entire life. Involved with Paul Speedway since I was a babe in arms, but I became team manager in 1999. That was all I ever wanted to do as a child was obviously my father. Many people know my father rode for Paul in the sort of 40s, 50s um, and early 60s. And it was always what I wanted to do. And then you know, childhood dream became true. And I, and I got to ride for the Pirates for 10 years and was captain of the Pirates and was, you know, very honoured to do it. Recognition for Middle Ditch transcends Speedway. Scott Mitchell is best known for his ability with the darts, but his favourite place to be is down Wimborne Road, watching his beloved Pirates with Middleditch at the helm. Well, well when, you, when we talk about Neil Middleditch, I mean, he is like a pool legend, and uh, I, I can't believe I watched him as a kid, and, that, and now we're mates, you know, he phones me up. So um, he, he's just, he's just, he just bleeds pool. You know, you cut him in half, and, and the rings on him are say, pool Pirates, pool Pirates, pool Pirates, all the way around. He's just one of our legends. That we we all love him. We all love him as supporters, and um, he's he was like our own town hero that 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 came all the way through the juniors and and, and came good. Paul is not only the home of Middle Ditch and the Pirates, but it also houses a hundred and forty-seven thousand residents, only forty thousand less than neighbouring Bournemouth. Despite also being the home of the RNLI, it's the Speedway which has had a constant presence in the town. Yeah, it makes us completely unique. Um, it's one of the sounds of uh, Paul, you know, on a summer evening. You know, you can, wherever you are in Paul, you can, you can hear that, you know, reassuring rumble of the speedway in the background, and it's, uh, it's great. It makes everyone feel at home, especially a Paul person. However, it's not just the unmistakable sound which the pirates contribute to the town, but also the people it attracts to the local area. You know, they generate a lot of um, income local businesses by you know by attracting your know, supporters into into the town and the area around the town centre and that's you know very very important. The Pirates connection with the town runs deep not just for business owners but also with the general public. We're very proud of our association with the town of Paul I think um, that you know you go anywhere in Paul um, and you mentioned Speedway everybody really knows about Speedway whereas in a lot of other towns you know, Manchester, where they have a speedway club, it's all Manchester City, Manchester United football, isn't it? And that, that's, I mean, that's just a, the, the way it is, really. I think that Paul, we didn't have a really big football club until Bournemouth. Um, and so speedway was the sport of choice. Fans turn out in their thousands to watch the Pirates battle it out on track, far outnumbering local football team Paul Town, who have an average attendance of 450, making Paul a sport setting like no other, a haven for motorsport. Yeah, I think Paul's unique because it is it is about the speedway, you know, the 
there is Paul Town Football Club and they used to share a ground and everything, you know, the same place. But, um, you know, Speedway has always been very prominent in, in Paul. And, uh, you know, I, I remember sort of there, there have been times where Paul had had, you know, the same attendances that, that AFC Bournemouth were having, um, which is which is preposterous, really, when you think about it. But, uh, yeah, no, we, we, we I think Paul is a good home for Speedway. And, and we're also lucky that our track's still in the centre of town. So I think that makes a difference as well. While most Speedway meets are raced at night, every Good Friday a poor tradition dictates that a contest between the Pirates and another side will start in the morning sunshine, showcasing the best of the South Coast side's support. Paul, the Paul fans, they're very knowledgeable, um, they, they can be very critical sometimes, that's all fans can be, but I mean that's, that's they're, they're entitled to have their opinions, but um, yeah, no, I think that they're, they're generally a very good supporter, I mean you see the crowd, we have probably one of the best, if not the best supported clubs in the country. In recent years, the track has been dominated by fan favourite Brady Kurtz, who helped pull to the 2018 title in front of a supporters base he was once a part of on the other side of the globe. They've got some of the best fans in England. We know we get really good crowds here and, and um, it makes it a lot better to ride in front of a big crowd and um, yeah, I love, I love being here. It's obviously a club with a lot of history and the most dominant club over the last 10, 10 years or so. And, um, yeah, it's definitely, I think it's the best club in England and it's pretty pretty cool. I grew up watching the watching pool on TV and, and, uh, and now I'm here, so yeah, it's pretty special. I'd like to try and make the most of it while I'm here. Pool may seem just like a small town on the coast, but in the Speedway world, they are a Goliath. Chris Holder is the last world champion to race her pool and he knows just how big the team is. In the Speedway world, definitely, it's probably the most known one for England anyway, like out of all the clubs, um, Pool Speedway is in Australia now. Pool's like, I'm not saying Speedway is super popular, but everyone knows Pool Speedway, you know, if they know about the Speedway sports. So, um, yeah, it's definitely on the map all around the world. And like I said, it's, they've won a lot of trophies and I was lucky enough to win a few with them, so really happy. Whether it's Chris Holder, Brady Kurtz, or whoever else is on the bike, it's the guaranteed action in Speedway which keeps people attending the Pirates week in, week out. Uh, the thing about Speedway and what makes it so exciting is it, the race is 60 seconds. It is that cutthroat. It is fast, furious, dangerous. You know, the racing is so close at times and so tight and the riders have so much trust in one another to ride so close together that it's just such an exciting sport. The thrill isn't just for the spectators in the stands. 29-year-old team captain Josh Kozonik just gets the same buzz when he's out on track. It's pretty action-packed. It's, uh, it's pretty close, you know, when the track's, when the track's nice, it's, it's raceable and you can actually race with two people, three people side by side down, down the straights and stuff. And yeah, that sort of stuff makes you, makes you love speedway and that's what brings the fans back as well. However, once the dust settles, the meet, which consists of 15 heats, swiftly moves on to the next contest. This leaves riders little time to prepare their starts, which sees acceleration greater than an F1 car. You're trying to make the best, the best sort of rut you can, you can get or pack a rut that you can find that's decent and straight. And then, yeah, obviously you, you don't really pay attention to anyone. and your full focus is on the tapes. You all got the revs up as you get into the corner and you just lean it in and the back end breaks around. You can go out there and turn a bike sideways at 60 mile an hour and come out the other side and you think, oh, bloody hell. Middle Ditch will be hoping his riders can stay upright as the Pirates look to defend their Premiership title. In Middleditch's mind, there's no doubt the group he's got can deliver his ninth championship as manager. It's, uh, you know, we've got Jack Holder back in the team, you know, Brady Kurtz, um, you know, we've got a fairly young team and you know, a, a good Aussie connection, which is, which is great for team spirit. And I just think all the other boys will all gel together and um, injuries will play, always play a part, don't they? So we just got to hopefully steer clear of any injuries. Um, and I, I, don't, I don't see any reason why we can't win it again. I mean, it's, uh, that, that's what I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. Paul has always been known for its beautiful coastline and harbour. But inside the engine room of the town are the Paul Pirates, who have been at the heart of everything for 70 years now 
and continue to dominate the UK speedway landscape.